So you'll need a small screwdriver. I've got this spectacles screwdriver. You have to remove six screws, including the one underneath the interface panel, one long one here, two at the side, one at the bottom, all black screws. And there's four long, one long, four normal, one short. The short one goes in the bottom underneath the tripod uh, fitting. I made a little diagram, placed my screws just to make it easier when I get in. Just finishing it. Remove the panel, it's fairly easy to remove that panel, pops off quite nicely, unlike the cyber shot that I'm filming this on, which is very flimsy. You remove your silver screws, which I have here, four normal, one's got some blue uh, screw fix on it, and one long and one short. And I've labelled them A, A to F on my diagram. Just draw on a rough diagram here. So I've already removed the, the panels. You have to release the control with the two screws, top and bottom. Top and bottom. Then you have some more screws, one there, one up here. I think, where is it? And there's one there. And this tiny plastic arrangement is held on. It goes above there, so I've got to slip that across. And this one at the back here just loosens the rest of the panel so that you can ease up the thing. Now, the screen has a very delicate cover on it, which you will need to loosen you can then pop the screen out which also has a black fitting piece of plastic which also needs to pop out I've already loosened these this is what this tool is good for there you have the back panel the back light now, to remove this connection, that one is for the panel, comes off, is fairly tough, this small one. This larger one here, you have to lift the small black clamp, it just pops up and you press that down afterwards to secure the cable. Can't quite see what's going on there at the minute. And then, as long as you've released this lower panel properly, there's a screw underneath as well, you can reinsert, having removed the old screen. Old. Now I've got my new one here from China, £5.69. And what I've got to do, so you have to bear with me, so gently remove, try not to touch the back screen. There we go. Now this fits on the back of my new screen here. So it fits like that. Okay. And we'll pop it on like so. You've got to be good with your hands for these jobs. Terrible curse.
think I've just about got it, chaps. Now, he's fitting on, and what I have to do, which is real awkward bit, is feed that underneath. So I'm going to leave the screwdriver to create a gap. Ride the plastic up underneath. Come on, a bit more. There we go. Now try and use. Oops, come back up again. Right, it's in, and it's around. So, making sure the back, which is not anymore, is fitting in place properly with this base panel. And then, Little bit, bit. Into position and apply the last item. Now I don't know how this is going to go because this is going to be the diddly. Especially if it's not fitted properly onto the black the jiddler. Now it's the task of pressing all the edges at once. I don't know if that's actually done anything. So it didn't come off that easy, I've got to say. Yeah, it's secured around the black plastic base. So, we place the housing back down, ensuring that this element is beneath. Get that back into position. And there we have it. And the screen is in place. Now, what you're yet to do is connect the screen. Connect the control Come on 
connect the control and then you have to reinsert your screws which I've marked the black ones are on the exterior the silver ones interior the long silver screw goes into this Number F, where is that? Ah, yep. The long silver screw goes into F here. The short silver screw will, oh, should I say, yeah, the short one. I think it was a, yeah. I cannot remember. You've got to keep better notes. I'll have to trial and error that one myself. I'm pretty sure they came out at the same time, so the short one goes up here. B. Yeah, because they came out at the same time, and I've kept them separately here in my green pot. You secure them, that's F. Put the other screws in. Uh -huh, yeah, C in the green pot. It's that one. It's a short one there. So the long is underneath there. The short one there. You have to remember all that yourself. And your camera should function perfectly. Five screws for the outer casing, including the one underneath the interface in there. Don't forget to take that one out in the first place. Which I've put number three. Don't forget to remove the plastic cover on your new screen. And don't do anything with the battery in the device in case you short something. And especially when disconnecting any ribbon connectors. So make sure you haven't touched anything. Obviously, give it a little clean if, if you have. Make sure the cloth is clean, but mine's no, not. Just keep going until I find the clean bit. The housing has a cover on it. So you don't need to cover that, protect it. So that's it. I shall continue in case you're interested. We have F long silver. This could be incredibly fiddly to get in. He said, dropping it five times. Continues to be awkward. I shall use a bit of blue tack on my on the end of the screwdriver. Can add a bit of blue tack and hopefully it'll hold the screw. Now, when putting in screws, reverse until you hear the click. Gently go forward. Don't secure them entirely until you've got all of them in because it can pull it off slightly and 
that makes it difficult to match the thread for the next ones. Now I do believe that is the short one because it's got to fit under here and everything. Now I'm going to lie it next to it with the thread head in just on the screw hole. And if you can see that. Now this is a tricky bit. You can just then lever your screw up into position. Like so. Lovely. Yes, fits in nicely. Now they can be secured. Now that was F and C in the green pot, correct. Now one of these is marked blue. Where is it? That one. D. Now he is here. And he goes. D. Now where was it? The lower element here. I can't quite see what's going on there. Which one is the threaded? Here's to be must be that. Oh, I can't see how that was there. And E. Just pop the end because he's a bit simpler. No, oh, look, there's a big gap there. This is going to be fun. Now, I'm going to place it. Oh, look at that. It actually popped its head in as well, which I'm lucky about. I'm going to be very careful. Grab the screw. Reverse thread. Do you hear it click? And if it feels tight, try another little click. Do it again. Reverse the screw until you're getting it going nice and smooth the same way it came out. If it's rough when it came out of course you have to remember these things. Now I'm going to have to secure the cable which I probably should have done a second ago before I put these screws in. Now there's the thing lifted There is a hole in the ribbon, which might be useful, but I've got a feeling that every time I secure it, there we go, now, oh, now this will take a while, I've got to flex it in, uh -huh. Good, I can still see the thing is up. You know, I think that's it. I think it's in place. Let's see what happens if I try to put down. Oh, that went easily. Should just tuck it, push it up. That's secure by the look of it. Nice one. Now hopefully that's okay. If it doesn't work, I'll have to take it back out and try again. But as far as I know, that looked exactly the same as it did before I removed it. Now you can move everything around quite a bit, but do not repeat it too much as you will end up damaging the other connections. If it's stuck, you've just got to be real gentle and ease it around until it clicks loose. 
Now that all looks good. To a certain point, but that still needs to house in there a bit better. It's not quite fitted back in yet. That we go. Yeah, but it's just being a bit loose. Oh, there we go. And it all looks about flush now. So I think that's okay. It fit with our screw panel. Doesn't quite fit. Yes, it needs to just move across. You've got to be careful when lining those up. I think the possibility. No, that does fit over and above. Like so. It's going to need a little bit of holding in place to get that screw lined up. I've marked him a, so he's just a normal one of these. Oh, there it goes, that seems to feel good. Now, here's another tricky one. Just lay the screw on. Well, the head's on, not the tip. There we go. I'll have to use a bit of gravity here. Oh dear. And I'm going straight in for that one. Here he is. Now that will hold the screen down so I don't have to worry so much. I try to knock all these screw my screws away as well. Now this one was the uh terror, wasn't it? Where was he? Try and go. Kind of a balancing act. I've got a feeling it's this one. I've got a feeling it's this one. I can't remember. Really I think that is it. Yes. There we go. It's the right hand hole. Screw D. Blue. With the blue screw fix glue on it. Now I'm just going to tighten these now because they're all the way there. One, two. Ah. Two. That one doesn't seem to be short enough. Ah, that explains it. That screw happens to go in after the panel is down. Yes, that's correct, because I remember now removing the screws in this order. Now let's put my one in here first. Now again, I've just laid the screw 
with the head thread head that is not the screw head the screw end right into the hole and then you can just pick it up with the screwdriver and there's a teeny weeny whoop and that goes in there going to need a bit of gravity again Ooh, there we go you can hear this one clicking nicely now and when you hear that click You can see it also drop, you know the threads are lined up. And a little squeeze tight. Now I have to connect this. Should be fairly easy. It has no lever or clamp to that end thing. So you can just pop it on. Now get it facing up so you know that it's, it's lined up to just give it a little wiggle make sure it's not moving up or down before you push it in or attempt to push it in it should just go in under its own pressure but it's not be very careful touching these contacts you don't want to smudge metal from one to the other. This is where you might want to use the hole. Now once you get it, once you know it's moving in, you can use these little square tabs on the side. There's just little square tabs. There's probably a plastic device that fits them in the factory. I pull it out up a bit and press and there it's gone. Now, not quite gone in straight so it's stuck I have to pull this corner out a little just get that corner in put it out a bit more come on where's he going now this is why you don't want the battery in when you're doing this because this control will turn the power on and short something there's already a voltage in there waiting for the power switch Now this is probably the most difficult part of the job so far. To be honest. Let's push that down a tad. Is he going? Again, don't pull this too hard. No, he's not going. He's going to be stubborn. have a look and see what exactly is going on that looks good he said let's just pop straight out again come on baby Easiest to take off, the hardest to put on. Come on, we're so close. This is the last thing to do. Go and put the kettle on. I'll be back in a minute. Remember he was tough.